We're one of the hottest spots in the United States uh, right now, um, which is alarming. One of the hottest spots in the country, not for vacations. That's from the president of St. Alphonsus, Nampa, Travis Leach. He, along with a half of a dozen other local hospital leaders, well, they met yesterday to talk about the state of COVID-19 in the Treasure Valley. While positivity rates have continued to decrease across most of the state over the last five weeks, Canyon County, they're not seeing the same trend. And when you look at the data that we have by county, uh, we do most of our testing in Canyon County. And if you look at the positivity rate for Canyon County, it's about 15%. And that accounts for about two thirds of the tests we've done. Ada County is about 8%. In Canyon County, Dr. Kaiser says the positivity rate is 15% statewide, over 8% across the state, I should say. The benchmark happens to be right now 5%, which we haven't seen since early June. And the obvious reason why Southwest District Health has left Canyon County in the red category for the last several weeks. The chart released within the last hour, red meaning there is still substantial community spread. And in that category, per Southwest District Health Guidelines, they recommend vulnerable populations limit in high risk exposure activities like team sports, and that would be football, volleyball, soccer. Vulnerable populations, so only those with underlying conditions, they are the only ones who shouldn't participate. Leaving those healthy with the green light to keep going? Well, a majority of high school teams already have. Last night, the Nampa School Board held a lengthy meeting to talk about possibly reopening for face-to-face -face instruction, as well as what to do about sports. And ultimately, they decided to not make any decisions. Instead, they're calling for another meeting tonight. Which is why this morning, about 100 students, coaches, and parents held a rally outside the school district offices, urging the board to let them play. Students have been allowed to take part in conditioning and weightlifting since June 1st, but not in any actual practices or games. And we talked with Brett Curran, who was there this morning at that protest. He's a parent of a student in the Nampa School District and says he's proud of how these kids have handled themselves and just wants their athletes back on the field. Um, I think it was extremely important that the kids did what they did and for me to support them because um, they've been working out since June 1st. And they were told that, you know, here's the things you got to do. You got to, you know, you got to wear your mask. You can only be in, you know, groups of 10 or less. Um, and you got to follow all the safety pro protocols if you want to work out and if you want to play. And the kids have done that since June 1st with great success. Um, they've been around each other and there have been no problems and there have been no positive test results out of any of those uh, workouts. And so now, you know, we have the school district saying, uh, I'm sorry, but you can't play still. Well, that just doesn't make a lot of sense to a kid because we told them, if you do this, hopefully you'll get a chance to play. They've done everything they've been asked to do, and they've done it with, I mean, just great attitudes because they want to play. They want to be there. we got to let them try. And you know what? If it doesn't work, then fine. But if we keep saying, well, we got to wait. We got to wait. We failed. We got to try. So the question is, well, yeah, the students have done what they're supposed to do, but what about the rest of the community? We reached out to the district for their thoughts on the rally, which they responded. Nampa School District respects the rights of students, parents, and community members to peacefully protest. We understand that when and how to return to the classroom and school activities is a difficult decision. Not everyone is going to agree with our reopening plan. Board members will consider all these factors tonight when they meet to make a decision regarding whether or not to return students to our classrooms and to our playing fields. And they might be getting a little bit more pressure from more than just parents, students, and players. CUNA School District, let them play. Valley View School District, let them play. West Ada School District just last night agreed to let them play. So tonight, when that meeting begins in about an hour or so, no public testimony will be taken in that board meeting. If sports are approved, practices can begin as early as tomorrow, but games will not be held until the week of the September 14th. That's at the earliest as players have to have at least 10 official practices in before, well, they're allowed to compete.